In the autumn of 1923, a pivotal moment unfolded in the heart of Virginia. The Virginia Motor Coach Association's journey began with a gathering that echoed through the corridors of history. On October 26, 1923, over 100 visionaries, the pioneers of the road, assembled in Richmond for the first state convention of Virginia bus owners. This landmark event resonated with the spirit of change. The backdrop was set by a revolutionary law enacted by the Virginia legislature on June 23, 1923. Every bus and motor vehicle owner, operating regular routes, was mandated to possess a certificate of convenience and necessity from the state's corporation commission. At this historic meeting, the association roared to life, calling upon the commission to enforce this groundbreaking law. Penalties loomed for those who dared to operate without the required certificate, ensuring fair competition among legal certificate holders. A bold request was made to the commission, a call for a supervisor of transportation and other assistance. Their mission, enforce the act and conduct local investigations. The wheels of change were set in motion, but the association's resolve didn't stop there. Firmly standing against any violation, they declared a zero-tolerance policy towards members infringing on the state's liquor laws. Compliance with all laws was not just an expectation, it was a commitment. Leading this charge was J.W. Callahan from Norfolk, Virginia, elected as the inaugural president. The association swiftly established an executive committee, setting the stage for the next chapter in January 1924 to solidify their organizational structure. As the Motor Bus Association of Virginia emerged, bus travel soared throughout the state. In 1923 alone, they reported carrying a staggering 40 million passengers. Rail lines were evolving, but the motor bus lines raced ahead, weaving a web that connected communities. These routes not only linked towns, but also created opportunities, opportunities for shopping, sightseeing, and heartfelt visits between friends in distant towns. The Motor Bus Association of Virginia was not just a mode of transportation, it was a catalyst for community connection. From the echoes of that historic meeting in Richmond, a new era unfolded. The Motor Bus Association of Virginia embarked on a journey that transcended transportation. It became a force that shaped the way Virginians connected and thrived. Today, we salute those trailblazers, the pioneers of progress. The echoes of that meeting still resonate as we celebrate a century of the Virginia Motor Coach Association, a century of connecting communities and creating opportunities for generations to come. Because in that autumn of 1923, a vision was realized, and a journey began, a journey that continues to define the spirit of the Virginia Motor Coach Association. Join us as we celebrate a century of connectivity, a century of progress, the road we travel is paved with the legacy of those who dared to dream and connect. Fast forward through the pages of time, and the wheels of progress kept turning. By the 1930s, Virginia's motor coach operators were flourishing, leading to the evolution of the Virginia Bus Association and, eventually, the Virginia Motor Coach Association, fondly known as VMA. Names like Abbott Bus Lines, James River Transportation, Newton's Bus Service, Quicks Bus, and Venture Tours emerged as pillars of the industry etching their legacies into the very fabric of Virginia's transportation history. Venture Tours, with a 50-year legacy, stands tall as one of the most successful motor coach companies, a testament to the enduring spirit of innovation. Leaders like Jimmy Hall carry the torch, revitalizing his granddad's original GM bus and preserving the essence of the industry's struggles and triumphs. Roddy Mitchell, VMA's president from 2021 to 2023 and founder of Platinum Tours, emphasizes the association's commitment to building strong legislative relationships. It's a dynamic bridge between operators and those who shape the laws that govern their industry. Today, under the leadership of Morgan Brown, VMA's president and operator of Magic Carpet Tours bus service, VMA stands as a beacon of unity. It's about looking out for trends, collective bargaining with government officials, and ensuring member voices are heard. VMA thrives not only through its operator members, but also thanks to the crucial role played by associate members, suppliers, tourism groups, and convention planning organizations. Together, they weather the storms and navigate the ever-changing landscape of the bus industry. VMA annually honors a member with the Robert T. Mitchell Public Service Award. This year, Peter Pantuso of the American Bus Association received this accolade, acknowledging his unwavering support during challenging times. But VMA's commitment extends beyond accolades. The Estes Councilman Scholarship Program, initiated in memory of Gary Estes and Jim Councilman, 
supports the next generation of leaders. It's a reminder that education and growth are integral parts of their journey. As VMA looks ahead, the legacy continues. Save the date for August 27th, 30, 2024, as the annual meeting at the Williamsburg Lodge heralds the start of the next century. The journey, which began in 1923, continues, fueled by a spirit of connectivity, progress, and resilience. Here's to another century of making history, forging connections, and embracing the road ahead. Visit www.vamotorcoach.com events and be part of the ongoing legacy of the Virginia Motor Coach Association. Because the journey doesn't end, it evolves. Join us as we drive into the future, united by the spirit that started it all, a spirit that has thrived for 100 years and continues to move forward. VMA, a century of connectivity, progress, and resilience. Here's to the next 100 years of making history together. Happy 100th anniversary to the Virginia Motor Coach Association. VMA has been a great partner to ABA and to the entire motor coach industry. You've fought legislative battles on behalf of the industry in Richmond and in Washington, DC, and you've been a great asset to everybody that you serve. Thank you very much for being a good partner and happy 100th anniversary. Congratulations to Virginia Motor Coach for 100 years of fun, education, and fellowship. Here's to 100 more. Congratulations to the Virginia Motor Coach Association and celebrating 100 years. From Young Transportation in Asheville, North Carolina, and also on behalf of the North Carolina Motor Coach Association, where I currently serve as president. The state associations play such an important role in our industry through legislation, education, and networking. Thank you to Vicki Bowman and also Linda Morris for your management leadership, and also to the uh, members for all your support and participation in our meetings. We thank you for that. We couldn't do it without you. We look forward to the celebration in December in Richmond, Virginia. See you then and congratulations. On behalf of the members of the United Motor Coach Association, I am delighted to recognize the Virginia Motor Coach Association for 100 years of service to the motor coach operators in the great Commonwealth of Virginia. Congratulations to VMA for 100 years of working to promote the motor coach tour and charter industry. May you continue your great work for another 100 years. Congratulations, VMA.